So CryptoKitties is the most successful blockchain game really because of the community that has been created around it. The, the, in a sense, we could never create the game in, as it currently exists without blockchain. Without blockchain, nobody would believe the commitment that we've made that, hey, we will not make more than 50,000 Generation Zero cats. That is a, because of the blockchain, that is a commitment even we cannot change. And so that gives these assets value in a way that it really was impossible for a small company like ours to do previously. Uh, similarly, this concept of sort of a peer-to-peer -peer economy, if you think about Fortnite, if you think about any modern game that you download on your phone, you can buy things. You can never really sell them. You can go online and, and try to sort of through third-party marketplaces um, hawk your account and things like that, but the possibilities for fraud are high. The possibilities for actually getting banned by the, the game maker are, are high because you're contravening their terms of service. Because of blockchain, when you buy a CryptoKitty, it's 100% yours, and we couldn't stop you from taking it into a third-party experience, even if we wanted to. And that final concept is the reason that the Kittyverse even exists. Before CryptoKitties was even a platform that people knew that they could trust, they started building on top of it. And the reason is they knew we couldn't stop them. The folks that made Kitty Hats, uh, one of which actually works here right now, knew that we, we couldn't stop him from creating this concept and giving it to our customers. And in a way, yeah. as a developer you know, sitting by himself, this was the best way for him to be able to reach a new community um, and be part of something bigger um, without actually having to reinvent the wheel himself. So we created CryptoKitties to make it simple and let people understand blockchain in a different way. For example, to illustrate this concept of digital scarcity, this concept of limited edition digital objects, we created 50,000 Generation Zero cats. And everybody could tell from the day one of the game that they can never be any more than 50,000 because the, the rules of the software won't allow it. And so these Generation Zero cats throughout the bear market of 2018 actually kept their value better than Bitcoin did for this reason. Um, another example of how CryptoKitties helps people understand blockchain better is if you 85% of transactions within the CryptoKitties network are between players rather than between players and us. And this is much more of a Napster-like game than a Spotify-like game. And it lets people understand the concept of a peer-to-peer -peer economy rather than a centralized economy. The third, and I think my favorite way where CryptoKitties is starting to show the potential of blockchain in a way that can be easily understood, is this idea of extensibility. So because the blockchain software programs run out there in the open, Anybody can build on top of them without taking this thing that we call platform risk, without taking the risk that the creators of the software can cut them off. For example, within weeks of launching CryptoKitties, we had folks building third-party applications like KittyCalc. Uh, now we have things like Kitty Races, we have Kitty Hats, we have Coda Wars, which is the ability for people to actually fight their cats together. And all of these developers are actually creating an ecosystem, an economy on top of CryptoKitties uh, in a way that shows the, the owners of CryptoKitties, these users, the power of blockchain, the power of open source services that can live out there, uh, be accessible by anybody, and eventually be recombined by developers in, in new ways, creating more choice for the consumer. Yeah, the Kittyverse is essentially this global community of developers that are building applications for CryptoKitties. Most of them are hobbyists, they're hackers, they're uh, independent Ethereum developers. But we also have the academic institutions. We also have uh, people who are trying to use CryptoKitties to teach the value of blockchain, but also the path to building on top of the blockchain. Um, and recently, we've also had professional gaming companies that are reaching out, wanting to both license the CryptoKitties IP as well as develop on top of the platform. And the reason people are doing this is that the community is a, is a cohesive community of folks that are willing to uh, spend in order to invest in their, in their experiences and in, in, their, in their cats. And in a sense, because blockchain is a fabric of value, because these cats as tokens um, already hold value, it's relatively straightforward for third party uh, developers to be able to have their own business models on top of ours. For example, Kitty Races charged per race. Kitty Hats allowed artists to design uh, clothing, whether they're hats or glasses or, or a variety of accessories for cats, and sell them to kitty owners um, and make a, a piece of the profit. So in this sense, you kind of, because blockchain is such a, by nature, a token-driven economy, it makes it a lot easier for folks who are already part of the network 
to spend on complementary experiences uh, without affecting, I should mention, um, our experience. There's nobody can corrupt uh, your, your crypto kitty. No third party developer can build something that um, takes something away from you. They can only add to the, to the experience that we created. Mm -hmm.